Hello, I'm Dr. DeFord. I thought it would be a good idea for me to put together a short video introduction so that you would know what to expect from the course and from me. Above all, I want you to understand this one thing. If you get nothing else out of what I'm about to tell you, get this. I am committed to your learning. I've taken that commitment and put it into four factors in the way I've designed this course, four ways that I've designed it to facilitate your learning. And I want to explain to you what those four factors are. The first is that I ask questions before I give you information. Now, I do this for a very good reason. I think that the real challenge to adult learning is not that we don't know things, but sometimes it's that we don't know we know them and we can't find them. Unlike a child uh, in a grammar school who may be able to be like a sponge and just absorb things, um, adults have their minds full of things, just full of things. And so my image for this is as follows. It's like an Amazon warehouse. When I ask you a question, you go, your mind goes searching all the way through all the warehouse trying to find that information. And when it gets to the place where it thought it would find it and it's not there, your mind is now in position to take the new information and put it where it's more likely to be able to retrieve it in the future. So that is why I ask questions first. The second of the four factors I've designed into the course is that I require you to do research. You may have heard the proverb before that when you give a man a fish, he's fed for the day, and if you teach him how to fish, he's fed for a lifetime. Well, my way of paraphrasing that is to say, if I tell you something you need to know, you will know that one thing. But if I teach you how to learn things, you will know many things. So I require you to do research, and uh, I say a lot more about that in the uh, paper I prepare, prepared for you that's called How to Find Quality Resources on the Internet. Okay, so I've told you about two factors. I ask you questions and I require you to do research. The third factor that I've designed into the course is probably the most important and that is I really amped up the interaction. Now, Online courses can be very convenient for you being able to do them anytime that's convenient for you and be able to get in and get out. And I know how important that is to you who have so many things going on in your life, how you're balancing family and job and ministry and taking an education at the same time. So you want to have the convenience. And I've tried to give you some convenience during the course of the work, but I really, really am concerned that there is no real interaction among students and with me. And so I've tried to design those things into the course. The way I've designed it for the student part of it for interaction is that I have replaced the forums that you've sometimes have seen maybe in other classes that weren't really forums. They were really commenting on somebody else's comment and not real exchange. I've replaced that online forum, as it was called, with a web meeting that takes place in the middle of the week. I ask you a question in the, questions in the beginning of the week, Monday, Tuesday, you're to answer them. Then you engage with other students, and in that engagement with other students, you talk about what each of you have found, and so you, quote, leverage your learning. You actually learn from the other's learnings as well in that midweek interaction called a web meeting. Now, the interaction I also want to uh, amp up with me is you will find this primarily in the way I comment on your first assignment in the beginning of the week, but even in your second. In the first assignment you have in the beginning of the week, you'll post that by midnight on Tuesday, and I will provide you timely feedback. I will help you tweak your learning and um, improve upon it. I'll tell you what you may have missed and what you may have to think a little bit more about and that kind of thing. I'll give you feedback in short and it'll be timely. It'll be in time for you to be able to uh, incorporate that into what you submit in the Thursday, Friday time frame out of things. So uh, three things so far. I ask you questions. I require you to do research and I've amped up the interaction with other students by way of a midweek meeting and with me by way of extensive and timely comments that I want you to engage with. You know, if, if interaction is important to every course you take and, and education in general, isn't it especially important when we're talking about having a communication class? How could a communication course use poor communication technique to teach about communication? So that's just a little side comment about trying to use good communication practices to improve your communication. Yeah. 
And now the fourth and final thing I do is I require you to give some time to reflection. How sad would it be if you go through the whole course and you finish all the assignments and you don't really have any, you haven't really uh, incorporated anything into your mind because you haven't had time to let it settle in and think about it and reflect upon it. So I've put reflection in as part of the learning technique in this class and it shows up in three places. The first is weekly follow-up assignment. I will ask you every time what three things did you learn from your web meeting with your fellow students and your, on your team? What three things did you learn? So I get you to reflect about that discussion you had in the middle of the week. The other two occur after the residency. The first of them is that I have you reflect on your learning experience by way of your preparation for your speech and your giving of your speech. What did you learn that you did well? And what would you want to do better next time? How would you do it better next time? Reflect on not just having gotten through that assignment, but what did I learn by giving that speech? And the third and final way that I have you reflect is in a paper I call What I'll Take Away. Now, I learned when I did this before that for those of you who, for whom English is not your first language, you may not understand that idiom. It's an idiom of saying, what will I remember? What will I take away? What will I remember five years from now that will be important to me for having taken this course? So I have you reflect on that, and there's 20 points assigned to that paper. It's the last thing you'll do uh, for the course. So again, I am committed to your learning. I've designed that into this, this uh, course by asking you questions, by requiring you to do research, by engaging in interaction with the students and interaction with me, and by reflecting on what you learn. I hope the Lord will bless you. I pray that the Lord will bless you as you apply yourself to learning in this class. Thank you.